What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a very very exciting video. In this video we will break down all the new features of the FIFA 20 carrier mode. Finally EA listened to us, the carrier mode fans, the carrier mode community and they implemented very important, very big changes. Of course carrier mode could be even better in the coming years but at least EA listened to us and let me know in the comments below are you excited about FIFA 20 carrier mode? I will bring back the Liverpool carrier mode for uh, FIFA 20 of course and for FIFA 19 I will still upload some carrier mode videos here and there so if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and like this video it just takes a second if you are excited for FIFA 20 and one of the most exciting feature that I'm, uh, I'm very very happy about is the dynamic player potential finally your carrier mode will be unique depending on which player you decide to play and how much he performs for your side so the fixed player potentials are gone and I'm very very excited about that it was very annoying that all you needed to do is just sign a few young players and even if they sat in your reserves they would reach their 90 or 95 potential without playing any minutes now for the first time how much a player plays for you and how he performs how many goals he scores for example if he is a striker or how many clean sheets he keeps as a defender his potential will vary depending on his on pitch performance and how many minutes he gets for your side or if you loan him out how many minutes he plays for his loan club this is what they said about the dynamic player potential one of the heavily requested improvements to the way players develop through each season was to have the, their potential change based on their actual performance. Potential for players within your own squad will evolve over time based on the player's performance in the previous season. If they if scored a lot of goals with the young prospects in his previous season, his potential will be even higher in the upcoming season. You kept a run of good performances going with an older player close to retirement. His potential will be higher in the upcoming season, which means that the dec decrease of his attributes will stall for a longer period of time. Yes, it was very annoying that even if you, for example, you signed Luis Suarez back to Liverpool, and even though he was a, he had a great season, scored like 30 goals, his potential, his rating, his stats still went down a lot just because he is uh, the wrong side of 30 years old and that was really annoying so now if you can get a, an older player to have a great season his player rating could stay the same the following season because of that uh, great season and I think that's that's brilliant really really happy with this change also EA said this potential will decrease if a player hasn't been performing well in the previous season or he hasn't received enough playtime, so you must ensure high promising starlets put in the work to achieve their potential. And I think this is brilliant. You can't stockpile youth uh, players who have a great potential and not play them because their potential will, will not be fulfilled. Their highest potential will go down each season if you don't play them, you know. Each game matters and each player and how they perform really matters and it will shape your overall career mode to be different. Each career mode will be different and that's, that's very, very exciting and that's what we wanted. Unique career modes and unique storylines and I'm very, very happy about that. Also, Another addition aimed at diversifying our interactive negotiation scenes is the introduction of two new environments. Rooftop lounge and restaurant are now part of our lineup of scenes used for player negotiations. And another very very exciting new feature is that the press conferences are now here finally i think the second most excited after the dynamic player potentials i'm excited for this because for the press conferences you won't just have some generic press conferences each answer that you give will affect the squad morale and player morale for your starting 11 players for your bench players and even for your reserve players so this is what uh, EA said. This year the new feature lineup is represented by press conferences, player conversations and all of the intricate tools and logic sitting behind these features. 
So before specific matches throughout the season, your club will be hosting a press uh, conference before a match. This is a great opportunity to discuss with the media about the team's objectives, plans for the next match and the status of, of players in the squad. Your answers will have an impact to players' morale which in turn affects their performance during the match. So each player has a distinct personality and they react differently to being praised or motivated or even criticized. So you must discover the personalities of your players and choose the answers which will keep their morale high for the upcoming match. And I think this is brilliant and I think this mimics real life. You can't talk uh, about every player the same way because some players need a pat on the back or a sh uh, uh, an arm around the shoulder other players might need a kick up the backside as if you will might players some players might respond more to a criticism in the press conference and some players might get more motivated if you praise them and you have to find uh, uh, out uh, each player and what their uh, personalities are like just like in real life so that will add a unique flavor to each career mode you start with a new team and you will have a whole host of different players with different personalities and you can't talk about them the same way and i think this is brilliant this is what ea said our vision was to breathe new life into the manager career experience by leveraging the huge amounts of data that playing this mode generates and build a very variation of ever-changing stories that would surface to our players through pre- and post-match press conferences and player conversations. So we'll have, you will have post-match press conferences as well, not just pre-match. And also you can talk to players individually as well. These are not, not just general storylines that we put together to mimic authenticity. These are stories built based on player progress with which each player will be able to interact with and influence the morale of the team and the, their standing as the team's manager. So I think this is brilliant and you can see that uh, when uh, you have a manager before a press conference he comes into the scene just like in a, in a TV broadcast and he sits down at the table and you will have the the logo of your of your club in the background and also the logo of the league in the background which is brilliant and ea said this the new tools developed in-house by the carrier mode team enabled our producers and designers to leverage this large data amount of data and create an enormous variations of storylines story that are deeply rooted in the player's experience and your way of playing. That means that the experience of each match will be treated differently by the journalists and will always feel authentic and dynamic depending highly on the outcome, uh, the goals are scored, opponent, time of season or stage of competition and more. And this is what you want. You want the journalist to ask specific, specific questions depending on where you are in the season, which team you are facing, you know, what your previous results were, how many goals you, sc you scored or if you didn't score goals or if your team is struggling, maybe lose the, lost a couple of games. You want your journalists in the game to ask specific questions about the specific scenarios and hopefully this will give a, a very unique feel to the career mode. So no more generic cash questions, no more generic press conferences. I wonder how much variation will it be there in the first uh, year of this new career mode era. I'm really looking forward to it to find out when the game arrives because I want to see actually how uh, often there will be repetition because that's the key. If there are a lot of unique questions from the journalists and there are a lot of unique answers to choose from and I think that's not that hard to put into the game. I really hope there are like hundreds of different questions that the journalist asks with hundreds of different scenarios that could happen in a career mode season. Just like in a real life football season, there are hundreds of different permutations, different scenarios that could happen. So I really hope that EA puts a lot of unique questions and a lot of unique answers that you can choose from in uh, the career mode pre and post-match press conference because I think that way 
you won't get bored of getting the same questions, the same answers in different career modes that you start. And I think you have to put this uh, in, in career mode each year now, from now on, and also to build uh, the, this database and to add another 100 different questions each year to the already um, uh, pre present questions and answers options in the previous career mode. So for example, in FIFA 21, I really hope that we have, there will be even more different uh, scenarios and different questions in the press conferences, different options of answers. So EA continued with this. The tools we envisioned and built, as well as the amount of logic behind the stories, is brand new territory for career mode and we are excited for all career mode fans to be able to enjoy and share their feedback on these newly added features so make sure that on my videos you comment your your feedback on the new career mode features press conferences will present the main venue where the manager will take questions and answer them both before important matches but also immediately after both the pre and post match press conferences will leverage newly built scenes specifically designed to be part of the manager career experience so of course you don't want press press conferences before every match but before the big games for example in the premier league i will be doing a liverpool career mode as i'm a huge liverpool fan as you can see and you want to, every time we play a top six team or if you play a cup semi-final or a champions big champions league game you want a pre-match press conference just to spice things up and to make it more interesting and also it will be important not to skip the press conference business because you can actually build and boost your team morale and they can play better you will have a better chance of winning that big game if you speak well in a pre-match press conference because your players morale will be sky high and then you will have a bigger chance of winning the actual big game Another uh, option is player conversations. So you can go to each individual, individual player and actually talk to them and conversate with them. Just like in Football Manager, I think. Player conversations will mainly serve as the one-on-one -on -one interaction between the manager and players within the team through a messaging app-like interface. Within both, you will be able to choose the way in which you tackle a variety of situations and based on your methods, either positively or negatively influence player morale as well as your rating as a manager. So I think you can track the morale. As you can see, there is a lever of uh, morale uh, and uh, if the player is happy, content or unhappy, you will be able to see depending on what kind of answers you give and how the players respond. So maybe if you give an answer that you think will boost morale and it doesn't, Next time you can learn from that and give a different answer to in a similar situation and try to boost the, the player's morale in that way. And EA continued in the same way as with press conferences, the newly added conversations enjoy the same level of complexity. The manager will have to deal with a variety of requests from players as well as happy or disgruntled players that are trying to get their thoughts across. The manager will have to find ways either through direct actions or by communicating his or her stance in order to mitigate and solve these situations. Player attribute value, values shown in this, se in this session are just exa an example of course. There is a new player morale system and all the features described above ha would have not been uh, completed without a lot of work under the hood and the player morale system is exactly that. It is the piece that actually makes all the complex stories we have built and that we will be surfacing relevant. Morale will be influenced by a multitude of different factors ranging from playtime, wage expectations to a player's performance on the pitch and how well the team is doing. Secondly, answers in the press conference and replies to players in one-on-one -on -one conversations actually impacts players morale as well. Having a high morale will be highly desired as a player's morale will influence their attributes in upcoming matches. So if the player has a high morale, he will, for example, has, have a higher finishing or higher stamina and uh, things like that. But if he has a lower morale, then 
then of course lower attributes means less chance of winning games on the pitch and also very very excited about this finally we will have manager customization I don't understand why EA haven't implemented this before because in player carrier mode you already had the player customization feature so it wouldn't have been really hard to implement this but finally you can actually customize the look of your manager and you can actually choose even female managers which is interesting for the female uh, FIFA players and I think they are very very happy about this and I think uh, my girlfriend will play FIFA 20 career mode and she will probably choose a female character as the manager in her career mode so I, it, it's actually a very very good addition uh, thinking about the, the girls and women who play FIFA as well so you will have the freedom to create an avatar that reflects your own style and see it reflected in a game. Moreover, you will be now able to change your manager's outfit and any, at any moment during the season. So you can even uh, customize the manager's face and you will have accessories that you can choose from, caps, hats, uh, even bandanas and things like that. Specific league themed uh, cutscenes or, or intro scenes uh, for matches. So for example you, will have, you have here the Premier League logo behind uh, Liverpool Manchester City uh, foreground, you have a Premier League background behind uh, Mane and uh, Bernardo Silva or you have a La Liga background behind the Osasuna and Real Madrid players here uh, or a Champions League background where Paris Saint-Germain are playing Liverpool. So you have a five unique central menu UI treatments that heavily reflect the authentic branding of the Premier League, Bundesliga, Ligue 1, for the French League, La Liga Santander and the MLS. Also you will have UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League branded UI accompanying these competitions fixtures. So we have some uh, fixes and balancing changes as well. Uh, EA added an option in the player actions pop-up to add the player to the shortlist and immediately go to the transfer hub with that player. Also you, we, you have a redesigned team management layout that you can see on the screen to allow for easier player attribute comparison. So that is brilliant. You will have on one side of the screen the player uh, the starting lineup and the substitutes and on the other side you have all the players attributes on one screen or almost all of them at least uh, their age height positions weak foot skill moves uh, work rates and also uh, different um, attributes you can compare both players on the screen so you can select uh, which player to to play and also finally they listened and you can disable the international management job offers at the start of a new career so if you don't want to manage a national team just to focus on a club you don't have to reject uh, every month a new uh, like international manager job which is very very good because that got, that got annoying really fast uh, in previous career modes also the player value of defensive players was increased based on the latest transfer market activity for, so for example Van Dijk went for 75 million to Liverpool, Maguire joined Man United recently for 80 million so it's realistic that some, some transfers reflect that in uh, the career mode as well and that some big big defensive players will go for 70, 80, 90 million pounds and finally they improved uh, the algorithm used by the AI, the computer teams to determine their starting level so moving forward you should see fewer instances in which the opponent isn't using their prime starting eleven in important matches. It was very very annoying that uh, sometimes uh, big teams even had big big players sitting on the bench or not even in the in the squad and finally we will again have eight saves of different carrier modes so on one uh, profile of your console or Xbox or, or PS4 or Origin you will have eight different saves of, of carrier mode so that was also an important change and competition changes fixed multiple fixture congestion is issues the winter break rollout this season as well as the removal of the FA Cup fifth round replay have improved the fixture congestion issues in English leagues we have slightly altered the authentic schedule of the English Championship 
by pushing its competition completion to a later date so you have more time to complete your fixtures this ensures the schedule conflict situation between championship rounds and european football nights are impossible so just to wrap up ea want uh, to thank all career mode players out there for the millions of seasons played and for the invaluable feedback that they provided it's amazing to see so much passion towards football fifa and career mode year after year and i'm actually very very happy and i'm thankful that ea implemented these changes because with these changes you will have finally a very unique career mode and also a lot of different variations for you guys to play so very very excited about these new changes let me know what do you think about all these new career mode features in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching see you later guys Bye.